Hi, the hip line will be good here, hip line will be good here. Let's obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, come out the bell. Good luck to both of you. You know, better be in his last fight back in October in Chicago. Had a fourth round knockout of Colum Johnson, but he had to get up off the canvas to do so. He scored a knockdown in the first round. Johnson came back and scored one on a left hook in the second round. And then Arthur really got after him in the fourth round with a right hand and had the impressive knockout. Right. How will he look tonight? 13-0, right. 13 knockouts against Kalajic. Ooh. Left hook. Huh. Instead of coming out with a jab, he just came right at him. Now he's coming forward. Now he's doing a little bit of both this round. Yeah, but you see the little short little right hand he landed on the side of the head of Kalaji. Nice short Chris. It's gonna come a time, Dre, where he's gonna sit in front, and he's gonna catch, and he's gonna try to shoot against Kalaji. That is no knockdown right there. As Dan Stell will wipe the gloves of Arthur Better be a The reason Better Biev is not landing these big shots is because he's leading with the... Well, I just was touching him just to that belt line moments ago. Now dancing on the outside. There's an awkwardness to him that you will see. Long, lanky, wiry guy. Missed 22 months before returning in July 2018 Stop. with that career-threatening hand head. injury. He's caught up with Stop. him here. In condition, he's lacking blood flow to that right hand. Now here he is fighting for a world championship. No, 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 Round no, no. number Stop. two Stop. here. Don't lift him up. Let's go. Dre, he, he better be able to just get to where he wants to be all the time. I think Kalijah can get respect and will get respect, but it, it's a process. It's only the second round. Exactly. He's got to find moments like this to get to let both hands position where he can land a shot. Nice uppercut from Kalijah. That's getting past his knee when he's attacking. The uppercut is available for Kalijah, but I think he's afraid to throw it because he's been hit with some left hooks from Benavidez. Absolutely, he doesn't want to open up to get hit with right hands like that. But he won't have to take a chance. You got to keep this bull above of him. And I'm talking about Kalijic. Right on the inside, and it was a right hand that landed for Rob, and then better be it, comes no, no, back no, no, and has a short shot that has success with it. That pocket and trying to trade with better be it. Well, that's the Kalijic that his team told us we weren't going to see at least early in this fight. I think the boxing isn't working right now for Team Kalijas, so he's going back to the low-hanging fruit, which is stand there and fight. That's not going to serve him well. Not, not with a guy like Better Beal. Serves the fans, serves the viewers. It's entertaining with the action we're seeing here. But can he sustain it? Trading punches. Look at this. Back and forth they go. Short right hand from the champ, and Kalajic is hurt. Yeah. Paid the price. That's a technical One. knockdown. The rope Two. supported him as the knee was Three. going down. Four. Five. Six, we saw seven, it coming. Eight, what could potentially be too risky here. of a strategy, and he just paid the price. 45 seconds to go here. And I could just see the pedigree of Better be of, You know, he just looks smarter. You know, he knows exactly what he's doing. He's breaking down Kalaji. It's not just boxing. That's called power boxing from Better be of. He's hurt. Big round for Better be of. Back up. Trainer for Rod Kalajic said, Rod, box, Five. box. That's not what he did in the last round. He was comfortable brawling on the inside, and now with the damage done, the ringside position is going to take a peek at him. Stay here. And now referee under counsel, Dan Stell. Time in, let's go. And he got Kalajic damaged there in round three and now smothering again here early on in round four. Oh, and here comes Rod saying, I'm going to go for broke, and he scores. Lots of four. Right hand from Kalajic gets turned around and better be a glance a right hand of his own. The fight just broke out. <laughs> Wild stuff here with the oh, IBF stop. light heavyweight Don't title on the line. Down. That's a danger zone if you're hot rod. There is the right hand that was able to get around the guard of that left. Then he goes to the body with one as well. Better Jumping right yeah. hand. Overhand right from Better BF. And Rod is hurt again. He's hurt. Wobbly feet, but yet willing to exchange. Oh, he tried to go with a one punch. Knockout of an uppercut that just missed. He wanted it all right there in that uppercut. Better 
He have maybe lined up for something. Back-to-back -back rounds in which the challenger, Rod Kalajic, was damaged. And now another visit to the ringside position. You gotta defend yourself on this stop this fight. You understand me? You hear Stay Dan Stell say, you have Time to defend it. yourself. His legs don't look stable at all. They yeah. haven't for about two rounds. Archer better be in. Will it be 14 for 14? As he comes out and this fight is over, better be if retains his title with a fifth round TKO. I'm gonna let you keep taking the beating, brother. Huh? Good. I know, but I got waiting for the Dan Stale, okay? the referee, had warned Kalajic, you have to defend yourself. Well, as soon as Better Biev went on the attack and he landed, he said, I'm waving it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 13 seconds in round number five. A referee in charge stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, improving to 14-0 with 14 knockouts. And he is still the IBF light heavyweight champion of the world, Artur Better Biev.